Alright, as we discussed, here's a video on how to go in and create a buyer's list. I had talked about some generic ads. Uh, here are some that can actually help out no matter where you're going to put them. Okay? Uh, rent to own, three bedroom, two bath, toll free number, recorded message. Great. Uh, great homes for deserving families, lease with option to buy, flexible terms. I need a nice home in the best school district. We can help. Uh, rent to own, easy, qualify, flexible option. Okay? All of these are ads that you can go in and be able to put up. And it, basically what you're trying to do is generate people coming in and saying, Oh, um, I want to get a home, but I don't know what I want. Okay, well, great. Let's help you out on that. Okay. Now for a buyer's list. Here's what your buyer's list can do. Uh, again, you're going to find out the person's name, their phone, where do they want to be, how many beds, how many bath. Uh, you know, ask some different things, whether it's a fence, a style. This is the most important, though. What is rent? Do they have option money or do they have uh, down payment? And how quickly can they move? Okay. Um, and these are essential. You need to know what kind of time frame they can work in uh, that you can go ahead and get things done in. Okay. <clears throat> now again, <clears throat> you can put these up anywhere. You can put up a free website uh, or even a website for not very much that serves basically as a portal where you send people to and they fill out information. Great. You can go ahead and do it. Now, we want to talk about this is uh, what a, a sample database would look like as far as for putting together a power team. Okay. So you have your professionals, your real estate agents, attorneys, lenders, title company, insurance agent, and inspector. Okay? Under investors, you have your wholesalers, your rehabbers, and your landlords. And under vendors, you have your contractors and your suppliers. So that you're always prepared. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is actually a title officer. Okay? These are some of the general things that I'm going to ask a title officer. Okay? How many closing per quarter? How do you handle trans do you handle transactions or simultaneous closings? Have they ever worked with investors? Um, you know, where you find them all over the place, preferably referrals. And what other services do they offer? Now a lot of people don't know a title company can sometimes actually do a person lookup for you. Okay? After that we want to see about an attorney. Okay? So with an attorney, we want to see what they can do for, do they do any personal investing? Uh, what types of services, retainer or membership or other fee? Okay. Uh, do they work with investors? Uh, do they do private or commercial notes? Um, and then uh, as far as do they do escrow? Can they do contract law? And can they do eviction services? Now if I'm looking at a handyman or contractor, Number one, I want to make sure they're licensed and bonded because that relieves some liability for me. Um, you know, have they worked with investors? What's their typical turnaround time? Okay, I'm also going to ask them for referrals. Now, have they ever done project management? Can they handle either contracting as a subcontractor or getting subcontractors? And what's the range in their services? Okay. Now, an insurance agent. A lot of people might not realize why, but as a business owner, because when you're investing, you want to treat it as a business. You want to know that your business is covering you, and really, with insurance, we're betting something bad's going to happen. The insurance company's betting it's not going to happen. Okay. So we want to go in and get that done. Figure out what we can do uh, to get those taken care of, and really, that's just a quick overview uh, as far as for getting your uh, power team and buyers list ready.